Hey guys, Sword Blue here. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. In the last episode, we finally got rid of the broken sword at the Smith's Merlin's house, and we are back to actually entering the dungeon. Well, the mo the cave of flames. Wow, it's hot in here. Come on, let's not stand around wasting time. Find that element so we can get out of here. No, this is not like a grand time when you need a, f a red tunic for fire. We will actually get a red tunic in the game later on, but as of now, we don't need to worry about that, so let's just head to the right, since I like going right. We got new enemies. These are bom basically bomb bombs here. You could hit them twice, and then you can actually move them. They will explode. These are basically free bombs here. They are... I don't like these guys. These are more of a struggle, personally. I prefer actually using regular bombs, and these guys will run around and hurt you a lot. They're not my favorite enemies in the game at all. I personally hate them. But they're a little Mario reference, I suppose, and we all love Mario references. References. So let's just go ahead and place the bomb and break this breakable wall. And we're going to find another enemies. These are basically spike beetles. You need you have to hit them with your shield to flip them on the back so that you can attack them. Your sword won't make a dent in these thick armor. Flip them over before you spike. Strike. Spike. They will rush at you. Basically, it's easier to attack with your shield. And we can get a big chest. This should be our map. Or it's a compass, actually. We can find location items, so this should be that make things better. Now, be careful with one of these rubies. One of these rubies is a trap. I would just actually prefer the suction jar. You can see that ruby that's not moving. That is obviously the trap one. These guys, when touched, will pop up and they will actually grab you and take your rubies. So it's similar to the ones that take your shield. They will actually drop the rubies that they're color coded with. There's a green one, blue one, and a red one. So remember, reds are bad. They take 20 rubies, but they will give you 20 rubies at the end. And we've got some real minecarts here. Is this uh, what, what's better than a Minecraft reference? I think your shield was always a good thing to use that way. And then walk running away is also perfect. We can't go down that way, and these doors are locked, so we almost just follow the path that's provided for us. Red to choose, again, not big of a threat. And if you're guessing, we are actually gonna be using minecart uh minecart blah blah technique here where we actually get to ride minecarts. Isn't that exciting? We have one here. Excuse me, this is this must be what the humans who built these mines used to get around. Maybe we should hop in and what? Hmm, what? After all this, you don't expect me to believe you're scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. Come on, let's go. I actually do love the minecarts in this game. And especially when you see Link's expression when he uses minecarts. So, well, just watch. <sighs> no kid has to yell that much. Sweet jumping jellyfish, that was awful. Hey, kid. What are you smiling at about? I knew it was madness to risk your lives to risky in that rickety human contraption. From now on, let's just stick to our feet. I mean, your feet. You'll be actually using that um, me 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 uh, mechanics quite a lot, and we'll be, have to, we'll be having blah. I can't speak for anything today. Go, go away. Again, I don't like these bomb bombs. They are not useful at all. At least I don't find them that useful. But like this, it saves you a free bomb. We got more of these guys, and I believe we have to actually kill them. Um, again, the best way to get rid of them is just using the suction jar to suck away their mask. And you can pick them up. Just like sucking a bunch at once, I guess. Trying to see if I can suck two birds in the same shell. There you go. And we got ourselves a new type of portal. How interesting. So there was a portal hidden away in here, hmm? Whenever you want me to shrink you down, just hop in and press R. So this is another type of portal. These are portals that you'll mostly find in the dungeons. This is what they'll look like. Again, portals could be everywhere. Oh, it's not gonna show me the um what's landing. Just gonna skip around. Um, with these guys, we can't do much but just run away from them. Let's head up quickly. Now we can't do anything because this hole here that will kill you eventually. So we're gonna have to get away from that place. Ow, jerk! We get to walk down this care. Uh, uniquely placed, and we can see a little hint there. 
Just keep walking, that's all we can do. Oh, it's getting misty. That must mean we're near the volcano. We can see fire down there. We can't do much, but we we are able to hop down here. Avoid the fire and lava and shrink back to normal size. Now these fires are... Um... Dousable, I guess. Just swing your sword and that's all you have to do. Um, there should be nothing in there for like a secret, but they're just useful for destroying the... When you're walking, you found the dungeon map. Now we can see which way we go. We've been. Let's just go ahead and look at the map. We got a chest down there. Pretty basic. I always like the maps. They're quite useful. So let's just go ahead. Now these platforms, they will disappear after... Oh! Yeah. That's weapons when Link touches lava. Not the deadliest animations. Oh my, it looks really, really hot in that lava. Trust me, falling that would be a bad idea. I'm sure you agree. Go ahead and press that button. These panels will appear back over time, so they are useful. There are some spike ones, how spiked ones, however. Now, we're supposed to use, use your suction jar for this part, but I like being a rebel. Now we oh again those flames are dousable, but the best to get rid of them as fast as you can. Now we have a time one. I suggest you hop on and hurry up as fast as you can. We got new enemies here. These guys basically you can hit them and just move them to wherever you need them to go. And they will stay in that spot. You got 50 rubies. I put the names in the description. Stay like oh I forgot they're like Mal or something, I guess. But these are very useful bad guys. However, they will um, spawn back after a while. I mean, they will... If you just don't touch... touch. If you... Pick up it, Link. If you leave them in the ball form for a while, while and not put them in a the hole, they will turn back to normal size. We can't do anything with this section yet. And, well, actually, we can, actually. We hop onto this tornado. And carefully maneuver ourselves around... Making a U-turn, hopefully. Come on, Link. Again, we're using this uh, me mechanism. Oh, and funny, yeah, we actually have to go this way. And funny thing is, while well, you're in parachute, if you press R, you will fall down. Just go ahead and push this onto the platform because obviously Link can't open it from that height, even though it's what? Up to his waist, probably. I'm not quite sure, but we got a dungeon key. More bombs, and again, I hate these guys. Oh, we actually were here before. And we know which way to go. Just head back into the minecart for the fun adventure of your lifetime. And this dungeon's basically pre. This dungeon's kind of almost halfway over, actually. Kind of sad. Carefully walk on top of this mine tracks, hit the switch to change the directions of it, and we just hop in the minecart again for another fun. Now, if you saw that back there, we had... Oh, no. Bugger alls. I'll just take a sip of my soda. We can't get that piece of heart yet. But we could go this way. Actually, I'll probably just skip these guys. Pretty easy. And we get to see this. Fun thing we could do is just hop down and pop back up. Now, this minecart's flipped over. We can't do anything about that yet, so... These keys are going to be the death of me one day. We've got to go and bomb this platform here. Quickly bombing because I want that piece of heart. And we're about to get to the mid-boss of this dungeon pretty soon. First, let's just get that piece of heart there. And you got a piece of heart! One more to get a new heart. I believe that's the only one in the dungeon, but I'm not, I won't be so sure. I believe so. And we are at the mid boss. Now, I would suggest having your bombs. If you have the boomerang yet, boomerang would be useful. Just more great could choose. Again, spin attack will confuse them. Bombs is also a good way to destroy them. But this is also, I think, the best, better way. I prefer this way. Anyway, just like place bombs everywhere, I guess. There we go, that did some damage. Then again, these guys aren't that bad, because you remember, we did take them down. And we get ourselves the... You got the cane of 
uh, Packy. This mystic rod has the power to flip things over. Use it to charge up your power and hold it flipping and flipping. So basically, we are allowed to be able to shoot magic out. Magic. Excuse me, magic to flip things over. So for example, we can flip this pot and make it break. We can also flip these things and reveal that they're spikely deadly on the opposite side. And we're able to do this. Oh. Hey kid, why don't you take a, that cane and packy and shoot at that hole? I mean, you never know what's gonna happen until you try, right? It'll spin around the hole and we could just pop out of it. That's a really cool mechanism. And we got ourselves a blue portal right over there. And then. Excuse me. So keep that in mind. Minecart. Flipping. Now, nah, oh. We can actually just hop in there. That is gonna be a mechan- um, No, Link. Don't get back in the cart. Stupid Link. I guess he just likes minecarts that much. So we can now flip things over and we can actually unlock now new puzzles and uh, secrets in town as well as in the map because of that. Grab and get yourself the next key and we are going to hop back in there. Now this dungeon again is basically halfway done. As of now, I mean if you just look your map, you can see that you've been to basically almost all the rooms. You didn't go down there yet. So you just have to go down deeper, but we're basically halfway done. Unlock this door and to head down. But we got the, the cane. I'm just gonna call it cane. Now we could shrink down. Don't hit, do anything with the lever yet because that will lock block us from actually going to this way. Just carefully walk around this way. Again, this is not hard for anyone. Now these things here, they are basically the another version of that evil chain. We can't, they won't see you when you're in pic a mish form, but once you grow up, you'll see what I mean. Just carefully walk away. They can't do much. They will follow you. Again, these are not that bad. And they don't take that, they don't really do that much damage to you. Use your magic cane and hop in the minecart for more adventures in space. Poor Link. He's having too much fun, and I want to have fun. These guys now just pop them in there. Basically basketball for fun. And again, they will deform. You're going to need to actually have some good aim for this. Sort of. Okay, if I can pick it up. This is going to take a while, isn't it? Oh my god. Because you have to throw these, and you can't- There we go! Now I can actually pull this lever out. And of course, we can just- We cannot hit the lever, even though I don't know how it's, it's remotely controlled to those pillars, because obviously, they don't have TV or that modern technology at this time. Who does? I don't know how. Who made these dungeons in these Hyrulean times, but it's okay. We could go this way. I think we only can. Actually, we probably want to go this way to get the kid stone piece. Because I saw pots there, and yeah, we could just do this to hop up. That's one way to go up platforming. And we can always just. Oh, I guess we can't go do that. So, why don't we go through this door that was open and find more lava? And uh, let's see, a timing game. We have to time this right. This should get us the bit boss key here. Yeah, that's actually the door for the boss. And we got ourselves to the next portal. So, I guess we can't go that way. So basically, we are basically at the end of the map. Just three more chests, one more room, and then we got the boss. How cool is that? I didn't realize this how short this dungeon was. Sorry, I had to um, take a sip of my Mountain Dew. Of course, this is one of the more time constraint dungeons because we have to wait for these puzzles. I mean, there's no way we can't really um, super speed through these and just shoot that quickly. Shoot that quickly. We can't even use uh, jump onto any of this. Tornadoes because we don't have the ability to jump yet break some of these pots because we don't want we want to be able to hop over 
Hurry, hurry, hurry! Oh. Blimey. Pop that over. Now this is just a little puzzle. Basically, just keep... Oh, blank. Blank. Oh, come on. Really? Just keep flipping these and there's nothing to worry about. This might not be a good thing here. This this might be bad. This could possibly be bad. This could be very terrible. Never mind. All right, we're basically almost at the last room. We have to hop down this way. Um. Yeah, we can't do anything here, but I believe there was a chest that way. We got another kinstone piece. We are basically. Oh, I'm just gonna run for it. These things are annoying. So now we get to show you the powers of jumping into a tornado while spinning. See? Kids, that's why we jump into tornadoes. Because tornadoes are naturally forming like that. And now, with our new power of tornadoes, we can travel to that little gaping opening down that way. There we go. Now, so basically we have completed this dungeon with our new powers. Now we can get the final boss key, however there are some secret chests, as I recall, being on said map. If we want, can, how do we get that? Oh, there we go, see? Chest number one has 100 rubies and our wall is now maxed up to the brim. How awesome is that? And we have another chest down there. We are just going to hop over to this side. Break some of this fire. And with this... See, I don't know what to do now. I'm full of rubies and I can go buy that boomerang that I was dying to get. But... I'm thinking if I need to... Oh, crap. Can we go back that way? I didn't realize there's a tornado that way. And I think I prefer going this way. Drop down, what's in here? Kinstone piece, there you go. I'm trying to think if we really need the extra rubies, but the boomerang's more important. Because once we get the boomerang, we are able to upgrade it. And especially since we get the cane, we can upgrade it right away, pretty much. Just head this way, Link. Remember, you have to be facing the direction of the wall to climb up. We get the big key, now we can actually find the boss. Flip that over. Any hearts here quickly? No point going to the main entrance, but we are going to do this. I'm going to defeat the mighty boss, and then I'll probably call this recording an end once we get the sword back. Go ahead and flip these pots. There should be a fairy in one of them, and we actually have a bottle that's empty while we grab the fairy. Come on, come on. Come on. Really? Guy, you got a fairy in your bottle. Your winged friend can come in handy when your life depends on it. We want to keep the cane in hand. There's no re need for shield or so. Uh, we need the sword. So in this battle, we want to make sure you just make sure, be sure you can run fast. Drop in this deadly volcano pit. We can see down there. And welcome to whoever the boss this is. A deadly lava dragon. Meet! Insert name here! He's gonna shoot fireballs at you. You basically want to keep rolling sh fire cane his shell. Part of it is just keep rolling. And then, when he will attack him, because it's spike, you climb on his back and sword dash your way in his back. Just keep attacking and then run off as fast as you can. He's gonna make eruption of boulders. Be sure to destroy as much fire as you, ca you can. The lava's gonna grow slightly. So you want to make sure you easily dodge, ro roll around. And then he's going to shoot a massive amount of fireballs into your field. So just, again, keep running. Just keep running. You see he's shooting fireballs there. And if I'm lucky, you can't attack his shield when it's really hot. But once it cools down, you can shoot it. Hop into this, this side here. We're going to need to destroy those fireballs ASAP. Because we need to be able to run around this area. Head out this way and destroy some of these fires. Again, these fires aren't that bad. And they actually do give you heart pieces. Well, hearts, anyway. And I guess there was only one piece of heart in this map. I'll double check if I miss any. 
No heart, don't fall in the lava. Now this time, he, he should be following around you, so you just gotta keep rolling around and speed us down. He should be chasing after you. Yeah, see? He heads in your direction anyway, and then he should shoot another ball, massive ball of fire. Oh, he's just going around this time. Just keep rolling. Crap, I'm in the dead end here. But this is the perfect time to shoot a shell. Problem is, you have to go all the way around there. So this guy is not that big of a deal, and this should be the last hits I have to do on him. There we go. Game over. Epic death, fire and lava disappears, and the floor hardens into... What we discover is... You got a piece of the elemental Triforce Quad Force of Epicness. You got the fire element. Flame brings light to darkness and warm to warmth to all. The fire element is the embodiment of that power. Whew. Bit more work than we needed to do. Um oh, the heart's up there. Grab yourself your heart container! And grab yourself, now we got six hearts, and let's leave this place for good. Oh, that was hot! It was so hot, I thought my fibers would catch on fire. Ah, but it's over. I suppose we should head back and speak to Mar Marley. Ah. Let's go ahead and shrink down. Um... Since we are quite late, I'm probably getting this episode right here, actually. So the next episode, we will get the sword and see what happens after this. Bye!